How does an extraterrestrial craft work? Well, the propulsion system is pretty simple, actually. Let's take your basic probe. This is a 40-foot probe. This is a 15 and a 2-foot probe. Uh, each is contained within the other. Um, this is an electromagnetic field surrounding it. And uh, these are field generation points on the surface. Let's look at it a little bit in more detail. This is the uh, kind that I'm familiar with. I'm going to break down how exactly it works. Uh, this requires a tremendous power source first in order to generate uh, fields of uh, the proportion required to uh, move around in uh, a gravitational field. But basically what happens is right across the center here is a dielectric plane, which is an area of lesser activity. On the top and on the bottom of the craft, there is two torus-shaped electromagnetic fields that are generated by the craft. Basically, creating a large uh, sort of mega magnet. This is my torus. Please pardon my poor art skills. So we have a torus above and a below and a dielectric field across, a uh, dielectric plane across the center. And the interesting thing about uh, toruses and uh, the dielectric plane, as you can tell here, is uh, in the center of a torus is an area of great stillness. And in the center of the dielectric plane is an area of great stillness. And thus, right there, smack dab in the middle, is our craft, which kind of stays in a vacuum type environment, almost as if it's suspended in zero gravity by um, negating the gravitational field and gravitational well that it is in. But significantly, these nodes and these points can be moved on it. The field can be changed as well as the rotation of the ship itself can be changed and in increased. Uh, the real trick to uh, this is not the science behind how these fields work, but it's being able to detect the field that you're in, the required power, uh, generating the required power, also being able to move the field nodes in a manner that allows you to propel yourself in the way you desire. But also, uh, aside from the, the tremendous power requirements, there's the metamaterials. And the metamaterials have to be able to do numerous things simultaneously. So these materials are the type of materials that can only be precipitated in zero gravity and electro solution. Um, most metals and most materials are ultimately crystals. And if your knowledge of them is great enough, you can precipitate them in zero gravity in dynamic configurations. So basically that is it. Um, we will get into propulsion uh, and power sources in another video. Enjoy the flight of the UFO.